Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will design a closed loop controller circuit for a buck converter or you can say for a step down DC DC converter circuit. A buck converter circuit is shown on the screen you can see. I have already uploaded that how you can design a buck converter or a step down DC DC converter circuit in MATLAB Simulink. So I will put the link in the description box for your reference. You can go through this link. So here the input voltage is 12 volt and our output voltage should be 5 volt. So now let's check the output after running the simulation without controller. So you can see that from the output voltage waveform that our required output voltage is 5 volt but here we are getting something 4.44 or 4.45 volt. So here we are getting the 0.5 volt error. So to minimize this error we have to use the controller circuit. So here this is the value of inductor that is 12.12 .12 micro henry and the capacitor value is 20 microfarad and the load resistance value is 2.5 ohm and the switching frequency is 400 kilohertz so now let me design the controller first
so here what should be the proportional integral and derivative controller values we will get these constant values like kp ki or kd values from the plan transfer function so for a buck converter the transfer function can be written as that is v0s by ds equal with v in by s square lc plus s into l by r plus 1 and the transfer function for a PID controller can be written as US by ES equal with KD into S square plus KP into S plus KI whole divided by S. So from this transfer function modeling we are getting the KP value as L by R and KI value that is 1 and our KD value is LC. So now just put the KP, KD, KI value in the PID controller block. Now let's run the simulation. So from the output waveform you can easily understand that after using the controller the error is totally minimized. So before using the controller circuit the output voltage we are getting that 4.5 volt there is an error of 0.5 volt but after using the controller circuit we are getting absolutely 5 volt or 4.9 volt in the output. This is how you can minimize the error voltage in the output. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and for latest video update, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.